Hello and welcome. Uh, now we're going to take a look at another controller uh, for Group VPN. So the idea behind the Group VPN is different from Social VPN in, in that it, this is typically used to create virtual private clusters. So one application would be, for example, if you want to create a uh, cluster to run Hadoop or to run a um, computationally intensive task by running multiple simulations across multiple computers distributed over multiple cloud providers. So um, there's several platforms, several software available that expects a cluster uh, with, uh, within a subnet with addresses assigned uh, within a subnet to run um, uh, the particular functionality that the platform exposes. And GroupVPN strives to keep that same model of a cluster uh, that sits on top of an IP uh, private network. But GroupVPN allows your private network to expand beyond a single site. And in fact, it can have nodes coming from different uh, providers dynamically into the system. But still, we have P2P links. And uh, differently from a social VPN, every link is able to connect uh, and, and establish, uh, sorry, every node is able to establish links with every other node in the group. So again, that's a key differentiation from social VPN. Typically, social VPN uh, is for individuals. Group VPN uh, is for uh, uh, groups or a single user who wants to run a cluster. So that translates into different, uh, a different implementation at the controller layer. The team can layer, the, uh, the team can process is the same, but the controller uses the APIs in a different fashion. So in social VPN, as we saw earlier, a user notifies other users when they log in, and other users uh, will start creating connections at that point. In Group VPN, we have an option where a um, node coming online, or an XMPP presence message, as we saw earlier, may or may not create a connection right away. We may decide to create a connection on demand uh, once packets are sent between two endpoints. As far as configuration, Group VPN also takes an IPv4 subnet and a local IPv4 address from the configuration file. And IPv6 is also uh, supported. So going back to an example uh, similar to what we uh, had for social VPN, but now we have nodes that have been established within a group, and that could be by a group manager that uh, might be the administrator of this uh, eJabrd server. So this group manager will say nodes 1, 2, and 3 are in the same group, and it will establish relationships, pairwise relationships between them. So now, when these nodes log in, they will send uh, presence messages, and other nodes will discover that they are online uh, by receiving these presence messages. And when links are created, uh, in contrast with social VPN, where every node has its own view of every other node's IP address, here they're all in the same uh, subnet, and every node has a distinct IP address on that subnet, and uh, IP addresses are not translated. But just like before, uh, this node, when it sends a message to IP address uh, .1.2, for example, TinCan will look up what link uh, brings uh, that message to this destination and will forward along this tunnel. And if this node sends an IP uh, packet to .1.3, TinCan will look it up and send to this VPN. Again, there are two ways that these links can be created. Uh, one is called proactive. So the links between node 1 and node 2, for example, uh, or no, node 1 and node 3, uh, are going to be created um, when both nodes are online. So if node 1 joins the network and sends a presence message uh, received by 2 and 3, that automatically creates links between them. Um, the benefit of this proactive approach is that by the time node 1 needs to communicate with node 2 or node 3, a link is already there, so the latency to send the first packet will be uh, short. Uh, the problem with um, proactive is that as the network scales, nodes will create large number of links, uh, n square uh, links totally in the network, so every node creates n links to every uh, other node on the network. Uh, 
And it's not always the case that nodes will communicate with ad every other node in the network uh, at the IP layer. So an alternative is this on-demand model where node 1 will not create a link until node 1 sends a message to node 2 or until node 2 sends a message to node 1. So a node may join the network of a thousand other nodes, a group VPN of a thousand other nodes, but if it's only a client that's talking to uh, only a single server, it's only going to create a link to that server. So this results in fewer links overall in the overlay and allows us to scale to larger networks. 